Hi guys, Chef Steve here. Going to continue on with our advanced cooking schools. Tonight I'm going to cook a, a complete meal in one pan. I'm going to cook some pork chops, some potatoes, some uh, bell peppers, and some greens, uh, green beans on the same pan at the same time. Going to be about 20 minutes total from start to finish. So again, our, our advanced cooking schools, we're not able to go to our shows anymore, so we're going to do it from my home kitchen. I'm going to be using our 10-inch skillet today. The first thing we want to do uh, before we get started is we want to get our pan heated. And I'm going to turn the pan on a medium heat. Uh, medium to low heat is all you need to know. If you watch my egg video, you know we got a fairly low heat. We, as a matter of fact, we told you to measure six inches above your flame. In this case, we want a little higher heat. So I'm going to ask you to measure about eight inches above your flame. If you can hold that hand there, move it back and forth. It feels warm, but it doesn't make you pull away. That's all the more heat you need. We're going to put the entire pan on the heat. We're going to heat the pan before we start cooking it, okay? It's going to take two or three minutes. While we're doing that, I'll just tell you real quickly how this is going to work. All of our pans are uh, uh, very well constructed. They're a uh, multi-ply cookware. It's got a 110 gauge thickness. It has a heavy, dense, thick bottom. Any chef will tell you you have to have that heavy, dense, thick bottom for even heat distribution. But as important as that thick bottom, we've got exactly the same thickness on the sides. All of our lids are weighted and heavy. So here's what happens, guys. When you put food in this pan, as the food starts to heat up, it releases its natural moisture. It puts vapor in the reservoir. The heavy lid then seals down, creates something called a vapor seal. Once you create that vapor seal, you have a little oven. This pan heats evenly from the bottom of the pan, the side of the pan, and the top of the pan. You guys, this cook will cut your cooking time in half. It allows you to cook meals, multiple uh, items in one pan at the same time, uh, one pan, same pan, same time. Now, we're not going to use any grease or oil. If you think about it, fish, chicken, steak, or chops have fat in it. That fat is all you need in order to cook in our cookware. Um, many people are cooking with other kinds of oils. You really don't need the oil. People say, well, oil makes it taste better. And olive oil is a good tasting oil. But here's you, what you want to do. You want to fry your food first and then drizzle the olive oil on top afterwards. You get all the health benefits of the olive oil uh, and you get all the uh, great taste of the olive oil. But you don't create any poisons or carcinogens. That's really the way to use olive oil. Now, to make sure our pan is the right temperature, we want to drizzle, drip a little bit of water in there. When the water dances around and evaporates, the pan's at proper temperature. And that's exactly what's happening. The water is dancing around and it's evaporating. We're going to be cooking with the lid on. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little piece of potato. Now I had a decent sized potato here, but guess what? When I started with it, it had a bad spot in it, so I had to cut it way down. So I'm going to take the potato and slice it in half. Now I'm going to take the starch side of my potato, and I'm going to put it face down in the pan. That's going to be our fried potato tonight. I'm going to take the, the starch side up, put it in the pan, that's going to be our baked potato tonight. We're going to do a baked potato and a fried potato in the same pan at the same time. Now I'm going to put a couple of pork chops in. Um, I love pork chops. You know, when I do my shows, I uh, sometimes I'm working at the fairs for 12, 14 hours a day. And uh, I don't like to eat the fair food. I want to eat my dinner, a decent dinner. So I cook my own dinner at the fairs and shows. Let me get the lid on here. And I need to cook it fast, I need to get it prepared, and i eaten and cleaned up quickly. So this is exactly what I do at my shows, and I want to eat as healthy as I can. You know, although I still have a lot of weight to lose, I've lost weight with this cookware, guys. It's really been a healthy way to cook, uh, for me anyway. Um, I've got off my medications for high blood pressure and high cholesterol. All that is a result of losing weight, and I'm losing more weight all the time. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do, as sure as many of you know that. Um, the pan I'm cooking in right now is a 10-inch skillet. We call it our Freedom Skillet because it's free from oil, free from grease, uh, and it's free from foreign-made. It's made in America, guys. It really is. You know, so many of us today are using plug pans. This is, happens to be a Teflon pan. Uh, you know, you buy the pan, and six months later, you, you have to go buy another one because all the material's gone. This is called Teflon. When it's all scratched up, it's called Teflon. And you know, we usually have to buy these pans about every six to eight months. They're $15 to $20. That doesn't sound like, or, yeah, $15 to $20. That doesn't sound like much. But if you buy this pan uh, a couple times a year over a period of a lifetime, you've got a $700 pan 
in a really cheap pan that doesn't really cook that good. And we know Teflon, when you heat it too hot, it puts off a gas called PFOA. It's a, it can um, actually give you flu-like symptoms and can kill small birds in your home. And many people know the dangers of Teflon. So what do you see advertised, on, including the ad advertisers, by the way, so what do you see advertised on television today as the newest, latest, greatest cookware? Don't you see red coating, blue coating, green coating, diamond coating, ceramic coating, Gotham steel, copper top and copper bottom? All those pans, guys, are coated pans. The coatings always come off. Um, and they're all made in China. You guys, our cookware is 100% American made. From the top to the bottom, made in America, guys. Some of the best quality cookware you'll ever deal with. You know, we manufacture the cookware, as I said, it has that heavy, dense, thick bottom, the thick sides. When you pour out of it, because of this roll lid, it pours very easily. Um, lids seal down, create that vapor seal. That's really the magic to our cooking, that vapor seal. Those pork chops have been going a few minutes now. Uh, I'm going to also put in there my vegetables. Now, I've got a combination here. You can see that. I've got some orange peppers, some yellow peppers, and some red peppers. Now, if you want to add more spice to your food, you can use some of the jalapeno peppers, the habanero peppers. I'm 77 years old, guys. I need to use the mild ones. And I'm also going to put some green beans in. That's all going to be cooked in the same pan at the same time. Now, I'm going to put these in when I turn the, uh, the pork chops over. And they've been in there for a few minutes now. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we're ready to turn them here. Looks like they might keep. Notice they just lift right out of the bottom of the pan. Real fast, real easy. When you heat that pan first, you actually sear the meat in the pan. It comes out really easy. It doesn't stick at all. Now I'm going to just take some of my peppers and put them around in here. This is my favorite meal at shows, guys. I love the peppers. Uh, they're mild. They're delicious. They kind of roast in the pan. I'm just going to throw in those green beans right on top. And just that quick. Guys, we've got everything going for a meal here, all in one pan. When you're cooking at home now, and most of us are, uh, it can become a real chore. But if you've got the ability to cook everything in one pan, same time, uh, in 20 minutes, have everything done from start to finish, including the cleanup, which you're going to see here, uh, it makes it a lot easier for us guys. And isn't that what we're going to do? If we're staying home and making healthy meals for our family, we want to help at least have it go as fast as we can. You know, many people come to my shows and they say, well, we just never have been able to do one of those one-pan meals. So that's why I thought I'd want to do one of these right now. I think it's a, a great way to do it. Let's, that's going to be in about another five minutes. I'm just going to shut this off real quick, and in five minutes we'll come back and see exactly where we are. Okay, guys, it's been about five minutes. We're just going to be ready to get that out of there in just a second now. Again, I've got pork chops. I've got a fried potato. I've got a baked potato. I've got some uh, mild bell peppers, and I've got some green beans. If you want to add more spice to it, you can put one of your, one, some of your uh, jalapeno or ha habanero peppers, uh, peppers, ha habanero peppers. But I like the mild ones. Again, at my age, that's what I need to eat. By the way, these uh, covered frying pans come in four sizes. There's a, a, an eight-inch pan that's good for one to two people. There's this 10-inch skillet. This is good for about one to four people. I've got a 12-inch skillet. Good for uh, you know, seven, eight people. And then we've got our jumbo skillet or paella pan. So there's four sizes. You can check them out on our website. It's www.waterlesscookware.com slash Chef Steve D. That's my particular website. And because you watch this video tonight, you'll be able to put in a code that will give you a 30% discount uh, on the price of the cookware that you see there. By the way, that 30% is 20% off what we normally sell it for at the shows. So, you guys, you're going to get a great value on the cookware. If you want to add some of these pans, please do. You're going to absolutely love them. And let's take a look what we've got here. Uh, it looks like we're doing pretty good. What I'm going to do is uh, make a little space here. See if I get one of those pork chops out. Look at that pork chop, guys. Nice and golden brown. I'm going to plate that up here. Let me get the second one out. There's a, there we go. I'm just moving the vegetables out of the way. Not a problem that they're all over the plate, uh, in the pan. Doesn't make any difference at all. And I'm going to grab a little pair of tongs to grab those vegetables out. Let me get the green beans. 
I'll get it on one plate. This is actually dinner for my wife and I, but I'm just going to put it on one plate for right now so you can see how it all comes out. There we go. We've got our red peppers, our yellow peppers. By the way, those two colors, red and yellow, are colors that are actually known to stimulate our appetite. You know, we really do eat with our eyes. If you think about it, all the colors of all the fast food signs are red and yellow. Nicely done peppers. Get the rest of these green beans out. Let me get these potatoes out. Now guys, there's our fried potato. Got a nice little fried crunch on the edge of it. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. Here's our baked potato and a couple of orange peppers. Now here's the question I always get. You know, when we're done cooking in our pan, sometimes there's things stuck on the bottom. Well, that doesn't matter at all. Here's what you want to do. Take that pan to your sink. While the pan is hot, put water in it. And I'm going to set that pan back on the stove with the lid back on it and let that come to a quick boil. And we're going to be able to clean up that pan in just a matter of minutes. You guys, look at that plate. There's pork chops, fried potato over here, a baked potato here. We've got our peppers that are roasted peppers and our beautiful green beans. Now, I, like to, I don't use any salt anymore, so I like to use Mrs. Dash's seasoning. But the real thing I like to do with most of my foods is I like to use this extra virgin olive oil. I use the robust flavor. And what I do when my food is done cooking to get the nice taste from the oil, I just drizzle the olive oil lightly on top gives you the flavor of the olive oil, all the health benefits, but you don't create any carcinogens by heating the olive oil too hot. So there's our dinner for tonight. Dinner for two. Took me, uh, it's taken me right at 15 minutes now, about 16 minutes, and the food is prepared and ready to eat. Now I'm gonna go to the last step, which is gonna be the cleanup. Now that pan, the water is a little bit warm in there. It's not quite boiling. I'm gonna turn it off, and I'm gonna just take my spatula and slide it around the bottom of the pan. And what I'm doing is loosening everything on the bottom. Now, if you wanted to turn this into a gravy, you could do that. It comes out beautiful, makes a beautiful gravy. Now, you can use metal tools on this cookware. I'm using a plastic spatula, but I use metal tools on it all. It comes out on them also. It comes out just fine. Just loosen up that last little bit. Again, if we're making gravy with it, that'd be great. A couple little spots in there, but you see that's just about all cleaned up. Now what I'm going to do is run some more water in here and just take a paper towel and see if I can wipe that excess out of there, which it comes out real nice and fast and easy. Now if you get some, some discoloration in the bottom of the pan because you've uh, cooked in it a few times and there's a little bit of discoloration on the bottom, uh, you can use some of our cleanser to clean it out. It comes out absolutely beautifully. This pan is now ready. Everything's out of it. You can put that in the sink of the dishwasher, and it's going to be ready to go again. Fast, easy cleanup, guys. 20 minutes. We've got our meal prepared. We've got our pan washed up. You guys, the best cookware in the world, www.waterlesscookware.com backslash Chef Steve D. And use the code. You'll be able to see recipes, by the way, testimonials. You'll be able to see all the cookware we have. You'll be able to see videos about how the cooker is made, lots of good information. Uh, check it out. Use, if you want to order something, guys, use the code D-E-V. My last name is Devin Chenzi, so that's the first three letters. D, capital D, capital E, capital V, three zero. That will give you a 30% discount off the already discounted prices. You guys, hope you enjoyed this little presentation. We'll do more. We'll keep doing more and more of these. I think I'll do a slow cooker next time. Uh, God bless you guys. Stay, stay healthy and safe.